All right, so I got a little bit different view here. I want to tell you a couple things about Cretan tires. There's two things you need to know for sure. One is you want to wash this real good. I use Castrol Super Clean in a brush and water and scrub it real good. Then it's got to be dry. And then you want to use some type of a rag rubbing alcohol. You understand? Alcohol. To clean this out before you start so that the paint will stick. Now, nobody would tell me for years where to get this paint from. And back to what I was saying was in the other video when I was showing about how to bead one up. Um, when I went around the track, I, I, in, in NASCAR, they have a lap that goes around the track before the race cars. They're all lined up. And I took pictures. I was driving an 18-wheeler um, around the track just before Earnhardt Sr. I took pictures of his car. Um, was going to race in NASCAR, the Napa 500. So um, when I went around, I took a whole bunch of pictures in the lineup. And they have painted white wall letters. Now they use they use gold. Originally, a long time ago, the, those Goodyear Eagles had white. Like I said, uh, you know everybody's different. They it, it's a it's a style whether you want to have white walls in or out or white letters or not. And um, truckers do this, and we've done this for years to set our trucks off a little bit make them a little bit different and, and like I was saying though nobody nobody told me where to get this tire paint from for a long time I didn't know where to get it for quite a few years in my trucking career so I'm telling you that you know everybody said oh get on the internet this and that but now I got these at AutoZone this is type S now they do have them now at O'Reilly's is what I hear but this was in San Antonio Texas this one here I don't know if you can uh, see but I, I always tell people where i get stuff so this come from autozone san antonio texas and if you have a points card you can get it off your points you know but uh back to how to do it you got to clean it with alcohol it even says the ma manufacturer of these pens recommend on the instructions on the back says use alcohol so you got to clean it with alcohol or it won't stick now this one's done with flat once been cracked and stuff no big deal you got to use a tack coat also that's the second tip. So out of them two, you should be able to get something done. And I keep them in the original package. And they come with two tips. One tip is flat. And the other one is already in it. It comes round. And you have to know that you got to shake these things up. They've got a ball in there just like a spray paint can. One pin should do your whole truck if you're just doing this much lettering in the little man. But you hear that? Okay. Hear that? You're supposed to shake it up for a full minute before you start. I've already shook it up one time, but I'm gonna break it up and make sure it's good. And you're supposed to use it. It's You could do these best if the tire's laying down. So before you have it mounted, if you had time to clean it up and all, and if you had time to put alcohol on it, clean it up real good, it paints better when it's laying down and you can go up and down when you're when you're painting on it the, the the paint will flow better so i will tell you that but you're probably not going to have that option so since you don't have that option we're working with a mounted on a truck you're going to keep it at an angle if you're wanting to get it to flow but while you're drawing like see look you push in on the tip and the paint comes out so like I said, this is a bad example because I just tack coated it and left it for whatever. Usually you'll tack coat it and then about 15 minutes later come back to the original one or, or 30 or however long after you've done the other ones. And uh, like I said, the paint flows best when you, you push in on it. This tip pushes in. So you shake it up every about a minute or a couple of minutes or so too to keep this make it make the paint come out so you're it's like pointism in, in art you're going to be 
dabbing a bunch of dots and then you drag it around and brush it. But just brush it one time there. You know, try to get some water flow here to angle as best as I can. And then uh, I just brush it one time. It's not perfect. It's not, you know, paint that's, it's gotta be, by the way, if you're gonna use a different type of paint, try to do something, it's gotta be oil based. But this stuff here, works pretty good it's just those little when you're dabbing those little air bubbles you gotta get those out of there by brushing and so I'm just touching up a letter nothing to it but I wanted to show this and this is 24 hours after I used the pin on a, a different tire that I came back to this one so it's still sort of storable but I put it in the original container and kept it cool okay so you get the idea of what I'm doing here and I only have so much memory on my on my card at this point so I had to make this a two-part deal too because I hit the camera and turned it off but it had minimum battery or uh, sorry memory but I'm just pushing in I'm a whole bunch of pushing in and this thing's almost like it's spring loaded to let the paint flow at an angle it flows better oh and see when you mess up you can have some alcohol on a rag put a little alcohol on a rag and you're good it'll come right off and it, it doesn't dry quick it says it's supposed to wait 12 hours but it kind of dries you can run with it. I've done it and gone. No big deal. But then you just go along the edges here, which I'm actually fixed to paint blue, so I'm not gonna really be trying to touch that up much. I'm gonna paint the edges blue. They have these markers in gold somewhere. I don't know where. I'm sure they have them. They have them in red though, blue, white. Um, let's see, red, blue, white. Um, and the more times you do it, the, the whiter it's going to get because you're trying to turn something that's originally black into something that, you know, you're covering that up and trying to make it something that's a lighter color. That's really always hard. So you see how that white, this one I got more paint on than even this M here. The more times you do it, the whiter it's going to get. And this is a super thin layer of this stuff anyways, you know. So it's going to take a few times to get it perfect. Um, I'd say about two hours work total. Okay, little by little for every tire on your truck, including the steer. That's not including the trailer to make it look good. So I'm just basically, I'm just dabbing a bunch of paint at this point just to get this M looking good for you. So you can see what I'm talking about. Let's see if they do turn out decent. I'm not trying to really drag the paint away, but I'm trying to just Get the bubbles out. The bubbles dry, they don't look so good. You know, everybody's different. So you could say, well, I don't want to do this, but I'm showing you how in case you want to, and you can get this. Now they, like I said, they have a different manufacturer now that I think O'Reilly's has this, but AutoZone in San Antonio, Texas has it. Maybe all of them have it. It's the Type S marker. And that's how you paint a tire on an 18 wheeler, basically. Um, but I'm gonna come back and I've got, check it out. I got blue, okay? So, I'm not gonna do the entire letter with blue. Um, I'll show you what I'm gonna do, and at some point, I wanna show the man done a little bit better, but at some point, I'll come back and do him. I guess I could finish it up real quick, if I have enough memory. I just wanna show the outline of what I'm trying to do. Because on the man, I'm wanting to put uh, blue lines on him. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm just like I said, I pumped up a tire, nothing to it. Decided to show a video. Gotta shake this thing up again. There we go. Gotta make that ball rattle and it'll come out. And you know, nobody showed me how to do this, so I'm like, hey, I'd like to show it for other people. So if you wonder how we do this or wonder, you know. 
I don't know the reason why. We just started doing it. It's, it sets our trucks off. I can look at it. It looks kind of sharp going down the road. It looks kind of like a NASCAR car. You know, it doesn't make it go any faster. It makes it look faster. <laughs> it's earned hard proof. <laughs> so, but anyways, uh, so yeah, I've done a little time doing some stuff with NASCAR and stuff. And, Earned heart before he passed on with my guy, so. I ought to put a number three up here. <laughs> right there. That would be cool. Get a get a logo. They, get, they got little stick-on ones. Um, but yeah, I'm, I need to touch that up again. But I'm going to let it dry before I go further with it. And uh, I don't know how much more memory I've got. If this thing cuts off, it cuts off. But I hope everybody's doing good. Y'all stay safe. Just showing you a little something you might or might not want to even do and that's okay look chilling out having coffee with you you know and uh, after I'm done touching this up I'm gonna have a cigar and go make a dollar so this is what it originally looks like when you first have it and it says that you're supposed to dab it okay on some cardboard now, it comes with an extra tip that I promptly lost, but this will work for cardboard right here, and I'm just going to sit it on top of the tire and mash down on it to have the paint flow. I'm supposed to shake it up for a minute. But... There we go. Now check this out. If the video will work, I hope it does. This really sets it off. Because they used to come with blue on top of white walls. Some people would leave it on to show they had new tires. Like a show of money, if you call it that. Some people say, no, you're supposed to wash that off first thing, so let them white walls show good, you know, right? Okay. So, just like when you're lettering, I use my fingers to help me out. When you're, when you're doing pinstriping, I'm sorry. I've done pinstriping in my time. It takes a bit of a steady hand, but this is gonna look super cool. When I'm done, I done turned into, this done turned into Rob Ross, I know, or whatever his name was. The painter guy, the big afro. I like his paint and stuff, I really did, I ain't gonna lie. It was a show where you used to say, let's put a tree right here. <laughs> he was a good artist. I am not. I'm just a guy painting some tires. So I'll let, let you see if you can see that right quick. Maybe not. I'll move you in a bit. I don't know if you, like I said, I don't know if you'll be able to discern the blue from everything, but it really sets it off. It really does. Um, I'll just continue this till the battery dies, man. Y'all have a good day. Hope everybody's doing good. As you can see, I'm just... Doing a little bit of artwork. I'm dropping a video of what I do. This is what we do in America, in case anybody's from another country. Yeah, those crazy Americans, that's what we do. So, it looks awesome. People will be like, where'd you get those tires, man? I'm gonna buy the new Michelins with the blue man. And <laughs> Well, you can't. You have to make them. And I'm always about making my own stuff anyways. I make my own parts, man. Whatever. Cannot be, not uh, not sold in stores. Not on the TV either. <laughs> the blue man. Stephen King had a crazy movie about a blue man. That was, that was scary. Don't watch that. 
do not watch that movie. That I think it was Children of the Corn or something. That's crazy. I don't like scary stuff. I'm not trying to make him like that. It's just a Michelin man with a blue outline. He's he's in the blue suit. <laughs> That's awesome. I think it's good that the battery ain't died yet. I'll touch up anything I overflow, by the way, with the white, no worries. We won't leave him that way. We'll fix his suit up, but it's his outline that's... And if somebody doesn't believe I did this, I'll get a video of it. No, really, I did that. <laughs>